Good morning. Let's talk about living cheap. I mean, I'm talking about living as cheap as you can and surviving. Reasonably comfortably, by the way. And here's the plan. It occurred to me. Because, see, I have, I have camped in a Toyota Prius. Actually lived in it for months at a time uh, over a period of five years. And I lived in the back of a pickup one time with a camper top. So you can do it. But what I, if you really want to live cheap, here's a thought. Get you an old car, a roomy one. Don't don't worry about getting a, you know, a Prius or anything like that. Get you a roomy car, you know, an SUV, maybe an older model SUV, and gut it. I mean, just <laughs> clean it out, man. Get all the seats out except for the driver's seat, okay? Then... You can put solar on the roof if you want to. I would recommend you don't because then you got to drill holes and all that crap. But what you could do, portable solar now is so cheap that you could get 200 to 400 watts of solar for probably three or four hundred dollars. And that's plenty of solar to charge any of these power packs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you know, the little battery looking things that have all kind of outlets for charging. Um, laptops cell phones got a 12 volt outlet for running some appliances and stuff like a little refrigerator and stuff so yeah you could get two of those get you about 2,000 watts of those get you two of them 1,000 watts each and charge them using the solar uh, during the day when there's sunlight because you're going to need about uh, six hours of sunlight every three days to make your program work probably now you can charge the i can't remember what they're called you know they're, they're little battery looking thing power packs is what i call them but you know you can charge them from the uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter in the vehicle as you're driving from point a to point b and and i think you can also charge them using a usb plug i'm not sure but there may be different ways to charge those things while you're driving the vehicle using the power from the alternator on the vehicle to charge your battery thing <clears throat> so that would provide you all the power you need for you know any minor lighting or or refrigeration you might need I'm, I'm out for a walk this is fort clark springs texas southwest texas there's fixed to be a norther coming in here in a little bit but anyway yeah so there you are you've got this car and you can buy you know get you a, a, a memory foam a folding memory foam uh, bed uh, you know, you can get them on uh, Amazon 20, I had one one time, 26 by 75 inches. <laughs> Perfect bed. Man, I slept better on that than any bed I ever had. Get you a luggable loo to doo-doo in and a pee jug and, uh, you know, and for a shower, you can get a, you can rig up a shower many different ways, but you can also, the trick is, is heating the water. But they make, there's a little rod that you can put in a, pot of water and it's 12 volt and you plug it into your cigarette lighter then you put that little rod in your uh, water and in about 30 or 20 or 30 minutes it'll heat up a few gallons of water enough to take a good shower and then you can get your little 12 volt pump and run your shower and be sure you stay clean on the road you know or you can go to a campground that has a shower whatever you're going to do but you you do need to keep your hygiene up as you're living cheap now, and, and as far as cost the biggest cost you'd have would be gasoline that would be it you know traveling from point a to point b or going to get groceries and that sort of thing but you can minimize that you know and, and as far as your camping hell you can go to right now for the winter you can go to quartzite and uh at the long-term visitors area ltvas I don't know, I think it's $180 for seven months. Figures out about $25 a month. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you wanted to stay there that long. But th there's several different camping areas around there. It's not just one camping spot. You know, there's several. And then you can go further south to different areas. But it's all Bureau of Land Management. And it's mostly in the western USA. There's not much in Texas, Oklahoma, uh, and other areas. But in Arizona, New Mexico and west there's quite a bit of bureau of land management but yeah you could live cheap i guarantee you uh you'd need a little uh refrigerator you could, I, I tried using uh let me turn around here 
I tried using <clears throat> an ice chest. Ice chest is okay. It's cheap. Well, it is and it isn't. It's cheap in that you can get, you just need one good bag of crushed ice or ice every four days. And a bag of ice costs you about $2.50 for 10 pounds. And, uh, but, you know, it's just, then your stuff in the deal gets all wet and crap, you know. I mean, it's not a good deal. So if you can, get you some kind of a 12-volt cooler or 12-volt refrigerator and run it off of those, uh, here it comes, a Jackery or a Blue Eddy. That's what they are. Blue Eddy or Jackery power things, you know. And, uh, yeah, and then you can recharge those from the sun, which are free, and uh, they're great. They're, I mean, I've got, I've got a 500-watt Blue Eddy and a uh, 1,000-watt, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it now. It's not a jaggery, though, I don't think. But <clears throat> how much would it cost you to live? Well, you know, assuming you paid for your car, and you should if you can, or you get a minimal loan. Let's say you got a payment of 200 a month or whatever. Uh, and then you got to have your car insurance, of course, and you got your maintenance on the car, tires and all that crap. So, you know, let's just say you're out going, the car's $300 a month with gasoline and everything, or approximately. So you got 300 there, plus, uh, you know, whatever your camping and fees and other expenses are. You know, you're going to have to have some internet access. You know, if you're going to go boondocking and out in the boonies and you want coverage everywhere, you're going to have to go with starlink that'd be about 440 a month and uh you know there's probably some other options for internet if you're doing youtube stuff and uh yeah start your youtube channel and pay for all of it shit why not and um yeah but that's you know I, i've often thought you know, you know a lot of people want to get a van everybody wants to get a van well the reason they want to get a van is you you, you get a lot of space you know what i mean and uh but if you if you don't get a high box van, you can't stand up anyway. So you know you could start off with a a car that you know is, you're gonna have. To, if you want to stand up, you're gonna have to get outside. I know I did it in the Prius, but you know just take you. You can get uh, if you know for the warmer months. You know you can get those little portable shade things. Uh, you can buy them at Walmart for fifty or sixty bucks, and ten by ten you know cover. You know, and you can sit out in the shade there or go somewhere in the forest where there's plenty of shade, you know. But then you got to think about your solar. So, anyway, that's catch-22. So, yeah, you can't, you still can live cheap. You just have to uh, come up with a plan and get organized. You know, and as far as age, there's age that doesn't have anything to do with it. Could I do it right now? Sure. Would I? No. Because <laughs> I don't need to. I'm fine, dude. I got me a Class C motorhome, and I'm fine, fine, fine. Or if you can't afford it, buy a used Class C motorhome. You're good to go, and use it as your daily driver. I've done that for me. They only get about 10 miles a gallon, but, you know, if you're not driving much, so what? So, what else, guys? On and on we go. But, yeah, was, the thought of just getting an a older model car with, you know, say, under 100,000 miles or right out that maybe, you know, where it's still reasonably good shape, you know, where you've still got a good 100,000 miles to go, probably. Uh, yeah, you could probably pick one up. You know, you'd have to check. I don't know what the price. I know used car prices have dropped dramatically in the last couple of months, so you might be able to find some kind of deal. And, uh, yeah, you're actually, when you're looking at it, though, you're buying your home and a car, okay? So, yeah, but just, uh, yeah, get you an SUV. I had a damn uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, 2012 i think it was yeah and i paid 75 80 7500 or 8000 for it and it would have worked fine it would have yeah it was a good little old car man mm -hmm. economical about 26 miles a gallon and or 28 whatever it was and uh yeah plenty of room on the inside man plenty of room yeah you could i could have stripped that thing out and made a camping machine out of that. I sure could have. Why didn't I? Well, I didn't think about it. <laughs> At the time, I just I was using it for a car, you know. But yeah, living cheap, guys. It's still possible. Still possible. And it would be a hell of an adventure. And you know, then you got to ask yourself, what else you got to do? You know, what else you got to do? You gonna sit at home and watch the news on TV, huh? Until you die? Is that gonna be your 
your uh, legacy to the world? What'd you do? Well, for the last 30 years, I've sat on my couch and watched TV. <laughs> every day. I watched every football game, you know, and uh, I watched every political event. And, uh, yeah, and then died. Shit. Uh, well, what difference does it make if you go out on the road in a car uh, that you fixed up and live in cheap and then die? What's the difference? Uh, well, maybe you enjoyed the other part more. Maybe you enjoyed the adventure of seeing new things and maybe meeting a few new people, some weird, some not so weird. And, uh, you know, but, yeah, that's a sure a good thought, though. You'll get you an old car and, and live cheap, man. Yeah. How much would it cost you a month? Well, you know, I, you know, I, I'd have to make some assumptions because, you know, I don't know you, you don't know me, but, but the re the facts are, the, the, your gasoline cost should be, uh, two hundred dollars a month or less, even at today's prices. Uh, your camping fees, uh, you'll get, you can do a lot of free camping. I mean, a lot. You know, you got uh, all these major. Uh, chains uh, that you can camp at for free overnight and uh, you know chain stores and and uh, you know truck stops and stuff if you want to and then you got bureau of land management you can take advantage of and you know there's all kind of stuff go to freecamping.net you know type in the area that you think you might want to go and it'll show you every free camping thing around there and the ratings and it all sometimes they even show or most of the time they show uh cell phone cell phone reception and it'll even show if it's verizon or t-mobile or what but yeah but, you know so yeah it'd be uh it'd be fun <laughs> you know it would be fun I, you know, I, I actually you know that that'd be pretty neat could i do that now sure i could but i don't need to you know, you know i've got a, a class c motor home i already mentioned that about 22 times but I was just walking along here and I was thinking about, you know, people that are wanting to go on the road. And, and if you have a technical skill that you can uh, make a little money while you're on the road, or you have some skills where you can work part time while you're on the road, uh, hell man, uh, do it, you know, because, uh, you know, you get one shot at life, you know, I'm, I'm 77. I, you know, and it just happens. You, you just wake up one day and you're old or older. And uh, so uh, think about it. And if you want to live cheap, give a, give it a try. You know, the fun of doing it, you know, just preparing everything and getting it ready just the way you want it, you know, getting the bed just right, the pillows, the cover, you know. And, you know, how do you stay warm? How do you stay cool? You know, you can get some 12-volt fans for, you know, uh, the warmer months and uh, go to areas that are in higher elevations in the in the in the, in the summers easy to do you know there's a whole northern part of the u.s that's pretty cool in the summer and uh, in the winters go south you know people did that for thousands of years and lived pretty good but anyway with that in mind yeah think about it guys you know some of you that want to do a low budget adventure it, you could probably do it you know i mean you could again what i would do though i would strip that car out on the inside though. the only thing that would be left would be the driver's seat and that's it and then you know get you a bed in there uh refrigerator uh and then you know of course a luggable loo as far you know, as far as lights you don't need any my god there's fish you can buy a flashlight at Walmart for a dollar includes a battery and it'll last you a year <laughs> so you know and they make solar lights so lighting is not an issue heating you know you can get uh, sleeping bags and all kind of stuff uh, it just depends now, you, what you'll have to do you have to be realistic you don't want to go to Fairbanks Alaska in December you know well that's up to you if you want to you can but again, you know, it, it could be done. You just have to think it through and it'd be fun doing it. Anyway, guys, from uh, Fort Clark Springs out walking on the trails, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. No kidding. And enjoy your life. Make your life an adventure. You know what I mean?
It's fun. Adios. Bye.